when we close our eyes, and so that we can see what's going on inside more clearly. We see all the disturbances and the lack of peace outside. But we have to remind ourselves of what the Buddha said, the real source of disturbance is inside. And as we engage in the world, it, we get confused, which is coming from outside, which is coming from inside. It's when you're able to get out to a quiet place like this, into physical seclusion, you begin to realize that the mind is not secluded, even when you're far away from other people. The mind is still talking to itself, it's still digging up old issues. It can very easily get worked up about all kinds of things. So we're not just running away from the source of lack of peace. We're looking at the real source right here. We just want to make sure that we're not distracted as we look at it, so we can really see what's going on. Why is it the mind keeps creating issues? Even though it wants to have some peace. As the Buddha said, there is really no happiness aside from peace. So why is it that we create issues all the time? You have to look into that. Where are they coming from? You get to see it most clearly when you're sitting here, determined to stay with the breath. If your mind just wanders around with whatever comes up, you don't see things clearly. This nudges you here, and that nudges you there. And sometimes you don't even know. It's like sitting out in a boat, and a current comes from one side, a current comes from the other side, but because you're not anchored, you're not really clear about when the boat is moving and when it's not. But when you're anchored, okay, and then you sense, okay, there's a wind blowing from the south, or there's a current coming from the west, and then you can see, and then you can do something about it. It's the same here in the mind. Once you've made up your mind, you're going to stay here with the breath. Then you notice the things that would push you off the breath a lot more clearly. And you want to see these things when they're still weak, because if they, you wait until they're strong, then it, they, they've set down roots. They've gotten really tenacious. And it's hard to pull them out. But if they're just brand new little plants, you can pull them out easily. So as we're sitting here meditating, it's not that we're running away. We're running toward the source of the problem, giving it our full attention. And we find that when we take care of the source of the problem inside, then you can live in the world outside, even though the world may be very disturbed. Lots of conflict. But you don't have to be disturbed by it. You don't have to be conflicted along with it. It's when the disturbance outside, the conflict outside, mirrors what's going on inside. That's when things get confused. So take some time out to be by yourself. And you have a much better chance of seeing what's actually going on inside, where the real problem is, and a much better chance of doing something about it. <laughs>